Good morning students. Today our topic is Impulsive. Impulsive force or impulse. So impulse is nothing but very large force act on object in very short duration. It's called as the force is called as impulse or impulsive force. Very good example accident. When our car moves in a particular velocity. Suddenly the lorry should act uh, some force on the car. You feel uh, maximum force that is called as impulsive force or impulse according to Newton's second law of motion the force is directly proportional to uh, rate of change of moment so it is equal to uh, ma no well f is equal to ma directly we take f is equal to uh, m into acceleration a is equal to dv by dt rate of change of velocity is called as acceleration a is equal to v minus u divided by t c f is equal to m v minus m u divided by t so u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity final velocity minus initial velocity change in velocity v minus u by t rate of change of velocity called acceleration so mv minus mu you know well momentum p is equal to mass into velocity mass into velocity this is final velocity this is initial velocity so mass into velocity final velocity so this is final momentum of object mass into initial velocity initial momentum of object so mv minus mu is nothing but this is change in momentum change in momentum f is equal to change in momentum divided by t rate of change of momentum is nothing but force according to Newton second law of motion the rate of change of momentum is nothing but this is a force so f is equal to mv minus mu divided by t so here is a very important f is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum divided by t so here f into t is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum this is force into time which means very large force, unexpected force also called, we call it unexpected force. Very large force act on the object in very short duration, it's called as impulse, force into time, which means change in momentum, change in momentum is nothing but this is impulsive force. The simple symbol is J. So here we are simply called F is equal to dp divided by dt, change in momentum is called force. So F into dt is equal to impulse which is equal to change in momentum or F is equal to del p divided by del t, change in momentum is nothing but it's directly proportional to force. So F is equal into del t equal to impulse impulsive force which is equal to del p so this is a impulsive force or impulse impulse simply called impulse or impulsive force force into time is which is equal to change in momentum this is called as impulse what is the unit of impulse the force into time so newton unit of force is newton and unit of time is second so newton second is the unit of impulse unit of impulse another one unit uh, unit uh, equivalent unit of newton is equal to mass into acceleration so kilogram into meter per second square 
किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेयर इन टू सेकेंड सो सेकेंड स्क्वेयर सेकेंड कैंसल विच इज इक्वल टू किलोग्राम मीटर सेकेंड माइनस वन किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड विच इज इक्वल टू अनदर ऑन यूनिट ऑफ इम्पल्स यूनिट ऑफ इम्पल्स इज न्यूटन सेकेंड और किलोग्राम मीटर पर सेकेंड इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन फोर्स इज इक्वल टू dp divided by dt or del p divided by del t is equal to force just i want to take f into dt equal to dp or f into del t equal to del t so both are equal almost indicate the change in momentum is nothing but this is a impulse or impulsive force another one a force is constant what are you? With varying with the time period, our force is constant. How we can to write these equations? So F uh, is equal to I mean del P varying with the time interval, initial and final uh, <coughs> integral of initial momentum. This is final momentum. So d P is equal to integral of initial time T I. This is T F final F into D T F into D T. So initial and final change this integral of D P is equal to P. So get P F minus P I is equal to integral of T initial to T final F into D T, which is equal to J. J is nothing but this is impulse or impulsive force. Impulse or impulsive force here pf minus pi is equal to del p is equal to j or integral of ti or tf initial time final time vary with the time with f into dt is also j impulse this is also impulse the equations will write in this to uh, type pf minus pi is equal to del p is equal to j or you uh, vary with the time the initial time final time force into dt is equal to j is a impulse or impulsive force if force is constant see f into integral of ti into tf f into dt is equal to force is constant so we take in outside ti tf into dt is equal to f into t value T final minus T initial. So F into change in time. Just we take to dt, which is equal to del p change in momentum. So F into del t, which is equal to impulse. This is equal to change or change in momentum. Change in moment. And next one, it is a impulse of vector quantity. A unit is newton second or kilogram meter per second. And next one is a average force i want to take in average force f average is equal to dp divided by dt this is a very important equation so f average is equal to rate of change of momentum so f average into del t equal to change in momentum if force is average force just i want to take in average force f average is equal to del p divided by del t it is indicate is a very important f value is inversely proportional to time here you know well uh, f is equal to mv minus mu divided by t f is inversely proportional to time so f into t is nothing but this is impulse this is equal to change in momentum final minus initial so if time value decreases force increases if time value increases force decreases So inversely proportional to time. The the impulse is uh, depends change in moment, not only change in moment. It also depend time also. The force is inversely proportional to time almost. So if time value decreases, if force is increases, change in moment is also increases. The change in moment of object is very 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 short duration means. Change in momentum is very short duration means the ch is an very important the very large force act on the object 
the time duration is very very short which means the change in momentum of object is also maximum so time period minimum means change in momentum of object maximum so force maximum force maximum so if time value decreases here force increases so force into time is equal to nothing but change in momentum the time duration the change in momentum of object is maximum when force act on the time period is very very short so time decreases change in momentum increases so force also increases and next one is <coughs> dependent i mean a force time and momentum dependent character so it's very important f equal to mv minus mu divided by t f into t is equal to j and f into t is equal to del p so f average is equal to change in momentum divided by change in time it is a very important is draw a two graph one is a constant force and another one is variable force so i want to take one constant force in time period just on day to x axis force in y axis the initial time period ti initial time period the force is this point i want to take the force after time tf final time the force is constant so the area of the rectangle gives under the curve under the graph gives i want just to take this particular rectangle so area is equal to this area is equal to a b c d area is equal to length into breadth so this is force this is change in time f into change in time tf minus ti so f into del t so f into del t which is gives change in momentum the change in momentum area gives change in momentum so this area is nothing but indicate impulse indicate impulse when force is constant what happen when force is variable so time this is force initial time period t f the force is initially zero after time increases the force increases and reach in peak value after decreases this is final time this area gives impulse i want to calculate this area do you know where how we can to calculate this area this area is equal to integral of overall area i want to calculate this area initial point to final point integral of initial point to final point tf force into dt force into dt so initial time variable time initial to final force into dt gives del p change in momentum so the area gives this area uh, curve gives impulsive force or impulse when a cricket player catches the ball so good example of impulse when a cricket player catches the ball he pull pulls his hands gradually in the direction of the ball motion ball's motion why because of uh, we, we take to uh, the time duration will be increases when catch the ball uh, the catching time duration will be increases because of the change in momentum of ball should be decreases so force decreases that's why if he stops his hand soon after catching the ball the ball comes to very uh, comes to rest very quickly it means that the momentum of ball is brought to rest very quickly so the average force acting on the body will be very large due to this large force his hands will get hot that's why we are increases the uh, uh, increasing the time period we catch the catching the ball along the direction will increase time duration so to avoid getting hurt the player brings the ball to rest slowly another one good example airbag in car when a car meets with an accident its a momentum reduces directly in a very short time this is very dangerous for the passenger inside the car since they will be experience a large force to prevent this fatal shock cars are designed with a airbag in such a way that when the car meets with an 
accident the momentum of passenger will reduce slowly so that the average force acting on them will be smaller because of increasing the time duration the change in momentum of passenger is decreases so time increases the change in momentum of passenger decreases so the average force is also decreases so the passenger must be safe that's why we are using in airbag in car for example an object of mass 10 kg moving with a speed of 15 meter per second mass velocity hits the wall the object of mass is m is equal to 10 kg and velocity of object b is equal to 15 meter per second initial velocity i want to take initial velocity hits the wall and come to rest hit the wall and come to rest mean after hit the wall the ball must be react uh, zero velocity which mean come to rest means velocity is zero uh, comes to rest within 0.0 second 0.03 second we have two time period one is 0.03 second and after one is 10 second calculate the impulse and the average force impulse and the average force acting on the object in the both cases first of all i want to calculate the impulse impulse is nothing but change in momentum so i want to calculate initial momentum and the final momentum what is initial momentum pi mass of object is 10 kg into velocity 15 meter per second this is equal to 150 kg meter per second this is equal to 150 kg meter per second is nothing but newton second kg meter per second newton second equal and unit and final momentum is equal to 10 kg and velocity is zero and comes to rest which means velocity is zero so final velocity is zero i want to calculate change in momentum final minus initial which is equal to del p equal to what is the change in momentum change in momentum which is equal to final minus initial what is final value zero minus initial 150 kg meter per second so final get minus 150 kg meter per second the negative sign indicates the velocity of object is decreases decelerated Uh, initially maximum velocity final get zero velocity so decrease that was a negative so it is decelerated of objects this is a momentum of object change in momentum change in momentum del p it is a impulse impulse is equal to 150 kg meter per second and uh, i want to calculate average force you know well average force force average is equal to change in momentum rate of change of momentum So F average is equal to change in momentum. This is 150 divided by time duration. We have two time duration. One is a 0.03 second and one is 10 second. So first one is 0.03, which is equal to 150 <coughs> divided by 3 into 10 power minus 2, which is equal to 150 into 10 power plus 2 divided by 3. So 550 into 100. So Thousand F average is equal to fifty thousand newton. Another one condition F average is equal to rate of change of momentum. So change in momentum impulse change in momentum is impulse one fifty time duration is ten second ten which is equal to zero. Finally get away fifty newton. If impulse is same, the two conditions impulse is same. But the average force is should be varied. Time it depends on time period. See 0.03 second here 10 second. 0.03 second time decreases force maximum, which means the change in momentum of object is maximum. That's why you get 50,000 newton. 10 second the change in momentum should take time period of 10 seconds. So this is force force average. the change in momentum is nothing but this is of impulsive force the impulsive force time period take much maximum so 10 second compared to the first condition so 10 second the change in momentum is decreases so force average is also decreases 15 newton next one 
a ball moving with the momentum of 15 kg meter per second strikes against the wall at an angle of 30 degree and it's reflected back with the same momentum initial momentum final momentum same at the same angle also momentum is also same angle same angle same momentum same initial momentum final momentum same initial angle uh, i mean the ball here strike against the wall angle of 30 degree and reflector is also 30 degree same angle calculate impulse so i want to take the rough draw diagram this is wall is very important a ball moving with a momentum of 15 moving with a momentum of this is initial momentum p 15 kg meter per second it is a very important strikes against the wall at an angle of 30 degree angle of 30 degree the ball is not a vertical of it's not a incident on vertical on wall make an angle this is so this is horizontal component i mean the vertical component of wall motion of ball is horizontal the mom horizontal motion motion of ball uh, should take this is this position but this position is perpendicular to the wall and another one strike against the wall at an angle of 30 degree this is 30 degree is not here this is 30 degree. so the ball uh, should take an angle of i mean the strikes against the wall at an angle of this is 30 degree It's not here. This angle, this angle is 30 degree. Initial momentum of object is p, and also it is reflected back with the same momentum. Reflected back p dash. This is also same, which means final momentum p dash is equal to p. And to make an angle, this is also 30 degree. This is a question. A ball moving with a momentum of 15 kg meter per second strikes against the wall at an angle of 30 degree and is reflected back with the same momentum at an same angle. Calculate the impulse. I want to calculate this total impulse. Initial momentum p, final momentum p dash. It's the same momentum. Angle 30. This is also 30. So this is momentum. Change momentum produces. I want to calculate. This is divided into components. horizontal and vertical <coughs> so this is this is horizontal component p cos theta this is vertical component p sin theta and this reflected same angle this is a one uh, uh, change in momentum this is also produce a two component this is p dash cos theta horizontal component this is vertical component p dash sin theta so here p sin theta and p dash sin theta is equal in opposite direction to be balanced so the result of that is p cos theta and uh, p dash cos theta i want to calculate the impulse impulse is equal to change in momentum impulse is equal to change in momentum what is the change in momentum initial momentum component p cos theta final momentum component p cos theta both momentum should act in same direction that's why i want to take this p cos theta plus p dash cos theta so which is equal to p cos theta plus p dash is equal to p final momentum is also initial momentum so this is also p cos theta which is equal to 2 p cos theta This is equal to 2 into momentum. What is the momentum value? P is equal to 15 kilogram meter per second. 15 into cos. What is the angle? 30 degree. So this is equal to 2 into 15 into cos 30 degree. Root 3 divided by 2. So 2 to cancel. So final answer 15 root 3. So this is impulse. Impulse is equal to 15 root 3 newton second. Newton second. This is a Answer of this question. So, what is calculate impulse? Impulse is equal to fifteen root three.